pulse of education from around the globe. Whether you're a student, a parent or an educator, you've come to the right place to stay informed. Get ready to be in the know as we bring to you the top headlines straight from the latest happenings in the world of academia. Now let's have a look at the headlines. Singapore's Jim Cook University extends generous scholarships to Indian students promoting academic pursuits amidst global turmoil. IRCC accelerates postgraduate work permit changes to enhance program quality and protect international students. Australia introduces new genuine student requirement for visas. PM Narendra Modi and Bill Gates advocate digital governance to empower education and healthcare access. Singapore's Jim Cook University allocates 10,000 Singapore dollars worth of scholarships to Indian students aiming to encourage them to pursue higher education at its campus. The initiative seeks to provide South Asian students with access to high quality education in Singapore amidst challenges in international student policies. Various bachelor's and master's degree courses are offered by James Cook University along with opportunities for higher research degrees. Dean International and Chief Sustainability Officer May Tan Mullen emphasizes the rewarding experience of studying abroad, highlighting the benefits of self-confidence and exposure to new experiences. Campus Dean Professor Abhishek Bhatti underscores the university's commitment to international engagement and high-quality education, aiming to exceed geographical boundaries and provide a vibrant learning environment for Indian students. In a proactive move, IRCC has advanced the implementation date for changes to post-graduation work permit eligibility previously from September 1, 2024 to May 15, 2024. This decision comes in response to growing concerns about the quality of programs delivered through public-private partnership arrangements. The move aims to address issues related to student support, education quality and housing availability in affected programs ensuring a more favorable environment for international students. Despite the changes, graduates from these programs will still have the opportunity to apply for alternative types of work permits aligning with Canada's labor market needs. IRCC pledges to collaborate closely with provinces and territories to proactively identify and rectify any challenges, underscoring its commitment to safeguarding the interests of international students. Stakeholders, including immigration policy experts and industry leaders, view the decision positively, applauding it as a significant step towards enhancing program quality and fostering a supportive ecosystem for international students in Canada. Effective from 23rd March 2024, Australia has replaced the genuine temporary entrant requirement with a genuine student requirement for student visas. Applicants must demonstrate that they meet the genuine student requirement by answering a set of questions in the online student visa application form. The questions include details of current circumstances, reasons for studying in Australia, benefits of completing the course and any additional relevant information. Additional questions are included for applicants with previous student visas or those applying from a non-student visa within Australia. The Department of Home Affairs has updated their website with the new genuine student requirement. Additionally, the DHA is conducting visa interviews again, so applicants are advised to be prepared if called for an interview. Follow Ed News to stay informed for more updates under the new genuine student requirement. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates recently engaged in a discussion on the significance of digital governance in enhancing education and healthcare access in India. PM Modi emphasized the importance of bridging the digital gap to ensure all students can benefit from online learning resources. The leaders explored strategies to democratize digital infrastructure and make educational content more accessible to students across the country. The conversation also touched upon the role of artificial intelligence in contemporary times. In a country we call mother, I, in most of the states and now some advanced kids are saying AI as their first word. It's a joke, but I and AI sound similar. PM Modi remarked. 
emphasizing inclusively. PM Narendra Modi and Bill Gates underscored the role of AI and technology in empowering students and facilitating inclusive learning opportunities nationwide. And that wraps up our today's edition of Ed News. Stay ahead of the curve and follow us for your weekly dose of educational updates and insights. Remember, knowledge is power and we've got plenty to share. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Ed News for all your educational needs.